What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country, this is episode number 71 and we start today's episode off by seeing that the board have given us almost £2 million for progressing into the Europa League knockout stages so absolutely delighted about that, obviously in the last episode you would have seen us beat Fiorentina on the final group stage game by three goals to nil even though it didn't really matter as we'd already guaranteed the top of the group finish so very pleased to get £2 million and again you know it's, it's probably not going to help us too much in January but if it can help us bring in one player player I'll be pleased with it but um, regardless the most important thing was getting through the group and last year we got through the group got knocked out by Arsenal in a round of 32 this year hoping to go one step better and reach the round of 16 maybe even the quarters you never know uh, still we take on Athletic Bilbao for the first and only game of today's episode here so taking on our rivals in La Liga and the first chance fell to us in the ninth minute Iosa Perez hitting the bar from the Obiang cross and his header could only hit the woodwork so still nil nil and in the 15th minute another great chance for us and the Cathedral drills in a free kick and Rodriguez's header goes just over the bar and behind so still nil nil in this game and in the 20th minute here Athletic Bilbao have a throw in go down the left hand side with Gomez take it around Diaz Miguel he plays it inside towards his man who takes it around Obiang the shot is taken and it goes just wide of Ruben Blanco's right hand side post so still nil nil and in the 30th minute Perez is on the ball for us and finds down to Kappa Kappa fake shots around Romalo keeps hold of the ball slides it through towards Iosa Perez and Perez's first shot is saved but the rebound is his header which he wins himself and puts it past the goalkeeper and makes it 1-0 so he got two bites of the cherry there and at the second attempt he does succeed he makes it 1-0 to Racing Santander should have finished it the first time really but completely messed it up and the second attempt was pretty simple after he won the header so 1-0 to Racing Santander Perez getting the goal and we do take the lead against our rivals here on the stroke of the half an hour mark and in the 32nd minute uh, Fleddy Bilbao have the kick off and give it away it comes to Anna Kappa Kappa roulettes around his man down this right hand side takes on the left back, beats him with a show of pace, keeps on going, wonderful run by Ander Kappa as he keeps on going just outside the area, chips the ball inside and Ronnie Aria Guza with a first time volley, finds the bottom corner and makes it 2-0 to Racing Santander so two goals in a matter of minutes and we take a very commanding lead in this game, lovely little ball inside by Kappa after a nice run and Aguza's finish was stroked into the bottom corner the goalkeeper did get a touch but he couldn't save it and it's 2-0 to Racing Santander as Aguza gets his 6th goal in La Liga this year so very nice finish there and it's Racing Santander to Athletic Bilbao nil and from the kickoff would Athletic Bilbao give the ball away again and let us score for a third time well, as they get on the right hand side here it's Gomez who plays it inside towards the number 25 he plays a 1-2 with Vigera and as he goes through 1-1 one one, Blanco has to make a good save and keep it at 2-0 so Athletic Bilbao almost right back in the game there from kickoff thankfully though it was still 2-0 to us and in the 37th minute they have a throw in and Mikel San Jose is guilty of a lazy first touch so Jose Perez dispossesses him goes around the last man and shoots but he hits the post and Bilbao get the board away so so close to harassing Santander free Athletic Bilbao but in this game other than the one say Blanco had to make after the uh, the shot was taken after 2-0. It was all Racing Santander really and on the stroke of half time Rodriguez drills in across towards Iosa Perez and his header as well saved by the goalkeeper and turned behind for a corner so still 2-0 for all the chances in the first half other than one coming to us. We were looking so dominant and from the corner a goose across the ball in. The goalkeeper comes gets nowhere near it but fortunately for him Alvin Toza can't keep his header down and it is still 2-0 and in the second half just a minute after the restart we laid down our intentions just like we did in the first half, trying to show Bill Bow that we were going to score more goals in this game and inflict more misery on our rivals. Obiang going close from the shot from 25 yards here, just wide the post and behind for a goal kick. But a bit of sad news for us, unfortunately, a couple minutes later as Athletic Bill Bow passed their way forward. As Blanco makes a challenge here on the Athletic Bill Bow forward, he gets taken down. And even though he does get back to his feet very quickly, unfortunately for us, that is an injury for Blanco, which he was unable to run off. And he will be out for, I think it's only five days, but he's, he's not going to miss any more games anyway. He's got a little bit of a break and it's not a big deal so there you go just for a shot regardless so still 2-0 and to be honest not much happened after that the game sort of petered out a little bit both teams seem pretty tired but in the 90th minute after a lovely passing move Keiko goes down this right hand side takes on the last man and uh, gets himself inside and eventually shoots and finds the bottom corner as well so Keiko came off the bench in this game and wraps up the victory making it Racing Santander 3 Athletic Bilbao 0 and 
To be honest, you may not um, realise this, but it's the first win we've had against the Athletic Bilbao ever in the entire series. So Bilbao are listed as our rivals and to go ahead and win this game and do it so convincingly as well at home was very, very nice indeed. So Keiko getting his first goal in the Liga this year off the bench, making it 3-0 and that is indeed how the game finished. So very pleased with that. It's our first ever win over our rivals and what a comprehensive victory as well. We were fantastic in this game. Lovely team goal to end the, episode, to end the game off as well well was very nice to see and a thoroughly deserving 3-0 victory so very very happy with that and a good performance all around so following that as you can see as well we had another international management offer we are going to get every single international uh, country coming into us and asking us to manage their nation other than Spain I can just feel it but uh, yeah Ecuador come to us and said would you manage our nation of course we said no uh, also as well player injured Blanco is indeed going to be out for five days without bruised elbow but it's not going to matter too much and also we can see that Juan Pei is back for suspension uh, back from suspension as well and the other email was letting us know that Mariano could leave the club in January if he wants to do so and that doesn't really bother me as you can see he comes to us and says he wants you to know that I want to I won't, sorry what's that say I want you to know that I won't let my performances suffer for the club yeah there you go but he just lets us know that he's going to be still giving his all for the team but that's kind of hard when he doesn't even get in the team very often but there you go he's probably going to leave in January and I'm not really fussed about it to be honest and also a use squad monthly report as well so you can see how the players are doing uh, still probably debating whether to promote young Hannah Lucy uh, now or in May because I've been told that because he went through a May update last year but didn't get promoted despite the fact he was under the age of 16 so couldn't have been promoted he still won't grow in terms of physicals I don't know whether that's true or not so I'm not sure whether it's worth waiting until May of this year to promote him but I guess we'll have to wait and see I'll think about promoting him before the end of the season um, I'll do a bit more research otherwise we'll just promote him in the next couple of months and we'll have to wait and see how he turns out also another international management offer this time from Poland and of course we say no and Hector Bellerin also wants to leave on loan in this transfer window as he's not getting much game time he might do but to be honest I like Blanco and Schwarzer is listed as a right back in the game I play him left back he's left footed Diaz Miguel is actually rated lower than Bellerin the only reason Bellerin is not starting is because I have the sneaky suspicion that Diaz Miguel has 80 plus potential so yeah I don't really want to see Bellerin leave on loan and only be left with one recognised right back in my eyes but we'll have to wait and see uh, he might leave he might not we'll have to wait and see uh, still here is a squad report the first one of January you can see how the players are doing I've got to be honest I'm really disappointed in Aguza's development he's up to a 72 overall and don't get me wrong he's grown a couple of ratings since being promoted in the second season but he's been playing the majority of games. He's a first-choice central midfielder. He's our captain. He's had a fantastic season, don't forget. He's already got six goals in La Liga and a couple in the Europa League as well. I'm a bit disappointed that Aguz is only a 72. I thought by now he'd be up to 74, 75. But maybe I was being a little bit naive with that. Regardless, here's a squad report. You can see how the players are doing. Looking very decent indeed. Some of these players are looking really, really nice. Paco Candela up to a 71 already. Gotta love that. And it's looking a very good team. As you can see, uh, 19 games in we are in second place with 42 points ahead of Real Madrid on the head-to-head -head record and we are also one point uh, behind Barcelona who currently sit top of the table so a fantastic first half of the season also nine points ahead of Sevilla who are currently sitting in fifth place as well the significance of that is that Sevilla are in the first Europa League place and of course Valencia are in fourth for in the final Champions League place so as things stand on course for a top four finish that is our objective and what a fantastic season it could be if that does happen also in the Europa League our round of 32 uh, team is going to be Galatasaray so going to be taking on the Turkish side over two legs and yeah it's, it's going to be difficult for us but I believe that we can get through that tie it's going to be hard but we ran Arsenal very close last season before they knocked us out thanks to that incredible Koscielny goal in stoppage time so yeah I, I believe we could possibly go ahead and get through to the round of um, the, the round of 16 <laughs> that obviously comes after the round of 32 get through to the round of 16 which is of course our main aim so I asked the ball for some money after that I asked for 3.5 million pounds I didn't change any of the aims and as you can see the board would only give us 1.5 million pounds but I said that was okay that's better than nothing isn't it so the board would give us 1.5 million pounds that might help us sign one more player and I'll be very pleased with that and also the board came to us and said that Hector Bellerin should be loaned out uh, because quite frankly he's costing a significant salary and doesn't get in the team very often so he might get loaned out but again I'd rather keep him here regardless I put him on the loan list and we'll have to wait and see if any clubs come in if not he'll stay here and there you go and also as well we do have some uh, pre-contract players that we look at signing as well. Now I've been asking on Twitter for you guys 
guys to vote. In fact, today, February the 14th, I've been asking you guys to vote what player we should sign because as you'll see in the next episode, I offer contracts to all six of these players and all six say they would like to come to El Sardinero. So I'm going to let you guys make the choice on Twitter. Again, this is the main reason you guys should follow me on Twitter. Of course, by the time this video goes up, the signing's already been made. But this is exactly why you, should, you guys should follow me on Twitter so you guys can make some of the signings in career mode and make some of these, you know, make some of these transfers happen. You guys made Rodriguez happen on Twitter. So you guys should uh, definitely follow me on Twitter, get involved with some of these signings, and there you go. So the six players are Sol, Mikel San Jose, Francisco Portillo, uh, trying to remember now, Moy Gomez is in there, so is Jonathan De Amo, and the other one is Javier Manquillo. So those are the six players, and again, I'll be letting you guys make the choice today. There's already been some voting on the poll already, I uploaded it this morning, and you guys will make the choice and see who we sign. So that is going to end the episode. So as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, then please do leave a like because it is much appreciated and it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country very soon.